guys, how's it going? It's evening. So I just got done doing some mowing. So this thing's gonna complain a little bit. Doesn't like to go direct to an idle after mowing for an hour and a half. So had some fishermen just go by. I guess they didn't see me or anything. I don't know. I guess I think I was way up here. But whatever. So I'm kind of branching out a little bit more here now. I'm starting to get down here now and mow. I'm mowing around this tree now. <laughs> you know, a little bit every now and then. I do need to come down here and with the saw again and uh, start taking down little tree things that are like little trees that are starting to grow like right here. I don't know how good that shows up on camera, but that's like a little tree starting to grow. I had one, there's one right here that died. I had one over here, but I had to cut this branch down, so I came down with a saw. And then I had, uh, I forget exactly where it was, but it was somewhere in here too. I had another little, little guy like this standing up, you know, and couldn't, I didn't want to feed that through the mower. So I came down here with a saw and cut it down. Just got little miscellaneous sticks and stuff to pick up. But, uh, unfortunately I don't remember how close I got to the river last year when I did this. I am going uh, wider out, which I guess is fine. But, yeah, so, Oh, I missed one. Lots of little fucking shit that pisses me off. You gotta get rid of it. Let's put it over there for now. So. Yeah. So, this stuff was getting kind of tall because this ground here is pretty wet. This is only my second time mowing it now for this year. Uh, I've made a couple of rounds here. You can see the freshly cut stuff. And that's the problem. So that's going to take a long time to rot down. There's a big stick. You know, so it looks like that over there. And you got green grass growing through all the dead shit. Because the dead shit won't, won't rot away fast enough. And I just keep mowing it down. So... Uh, it'll take another week before this will rot completely. But I'm not sure how close I got. I think this... I might have been able to get a little bit closer, but that was about it. I do want to go wider. But then you all, you'll, you'll see here... Uh, the problem that I'm running into, obviously, again... That was just a weed. It wasn't even going to hurt them all or any, but... I'm worried about freaking logs and stuff because I didn't see any in here. As you know, there's always that one that likes to show up out of nowhere. So, like, right here, I got a tree here. Or what's left of a tree. So, I can't come in, you know, the way I want to. So, I'd have to... I guess I could have mowed in here a little bit more. I'm just trying to ease it in here so I don't destroy my mower. I mow around that a couple of times. Then I'll come in with the saw and then I'll cut that level to the ground and then I'll be able to go right over with the mower. And I guess kind of come in, go straight. Eventually I want to mow all that over there. Well, not all of it, but I guess it's the only way I can really show you is I got to get in here. But I want to mow all around here. As you can see, I got more trees and stuff starting to grow in here, so I gotta hurry up and get it cut down. But I wanna get this tree out of here and then mow, I suppose, about halfway through. And halfway would be about where that tree is at there, the end of this dead tree. So, you know, so that way you could put like, well, you could put a bench, you know, here in the shade on a real hot day or something, you know. and have one out there, I guess, for in the evenings or whatever, you know, and 
you'd have plenty of area to camp or you know or just chill whatever you want to do which is what i want to do in the future make this into like a little camping spot because it actually is a perfect area for that because you got very little trees interfering with the river but i gotta make the trail the trail's a little bit wider i've added about i don't know from here to there i've added that much on both sides pretty much but you can see here i'm getting more of those trees growing in again so i gotta come with the saw at some point and cut them down and then go right over them so and i believe yeah over here i hit a log or something or a little there is a log in here so i won't be able to go too much wider than that but at some point yeah, i kind of would like to make this a little bit wider too um, but i'm just doing a little bit a little bit every year it's going to take some time to get this to kind of my liking anyway but <sighs> so the hay down in here is doing I, know, I guess a little bit better since the hay update videos it's better it's better at that end where it was underwater kind of because that's kind of like a low spot where uh, where the neck is over there for this field this little 12 acre piece um it's a little bit taller than this stuff right here i gotta cool my head off i'm hot but it is coming around i just don't know if it's still worth cutting um maybe in another few days i don't know the young guy is still not here yet i imagine he's you know behind on cutting hay I imagine everybody's behind but nothing to really do about it but the stuff out in the big field that stuff is done that's not going to grow anymore the heads are starting to tilt over now for a lot of that grass because it's done for the year unless you cut it off it might grow back again but probably won't grow enough but yeah and i'm also mowing in there in the junk pile a little bit uh you can't mow the whole thing because the very low part is still underwater it's slowly going away but the last time i mowed i guess i got a little bit too close and i got the uh, the more stuck i guess i thought it was it looked dry on top i guess but once the tires broke through it it was just pure mud so tried to save it but unfortunately it, it only being a two-wheel drive mower i didn't i just couldn't couldn't save it in time so not much i can really do so i had to go get the big tractor and pull it out which was pretty convenient but what are you gonna do so i got a log in there too i gotta pick up and get rid of it but what are you gonna do so look at that freaking this is that damn viney shit look at that that damn vine shit we got that all over the freaking farm yard oh now we got it out here because i know it's out here because a couple of trees are covered in them and the tree is actually dead so whatever stop that from fucking growing so yeah uh yeah i don't know there's something else I was going to talk about, but I forgot. So, but yeah, I got a trim yet, but I don't know if I'm going to do it today. It's supposed to be hot. I mean, it's about close to 7 o'clock now, but oh, mowing's a chore. Especially when it, I mean, you would think an hour and a half wouldn't be that bad, but it's bad enough for me. So, I uh, think I'm done for pretty much for today. I feel like going out and doing something else, I guess, but it's not much of a breeze today. There's a gentle breeze, which is good enough, but last couple of evenings there, we've had like no wind at all, it makes things miserable. And then we had a storm roll by this morning 
think about six or seven. I don't really, really remember, but I think we, I think we got about half an inch of rain out of that. And everything's pretty much uh, dry again because the sun's been out for the last few hours and, you know, good little breeze and whatnot. So things are going to dry out fairly quickly. But yeah yeah i don't know um so i mean there's some grass right here in front that's a little that's definitely a lot taller but that's not gonna i mean this stuff here is just doing a little bit better and you pull it straight when well, then it gets even taller but yeah it's up just to the bottom of my belly button so if the whole field was like that then it would be all right but thicker obviously but i don't know there's not much you're going to do about it i it probably will grow a little bit more yet i don't know it's getting kind of late in the year for anything to want and grow i mean the only thing that's going to keep growing are freaking weeds so I gotta get out into the that damn rental piece too. I gotta check for Canadian thistles. I haven't been in there at all yet this year, so but just been so freaking backlogged on everything trying to get the farm caught up. Oh, so getting caught up. I do have I did grease the rake. Uh, I think I already told you guys that. And I checked the gearbox, of course the gearbox had water in it but that's because the seal's out and i i don't I haven't found a place that sells them yet but i'm not really in a hurry to fix it because we don't use it that much so it needs to be fixed but I'm, I'm not doing it this year so that'll probably be a winter time project but i do got to pull it out to the shop and put air in that one tire i, I guess it's just a little flat so i probably should do that here in the next couple days i guess i don't know the big tractor's not hooked to anything, so I could go do that. So, but, whatever. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, for the little farm all A, I, don't, I can't remember if I told you guys this or not, but we had a storm blow through uh, quite a few days ago. It was during the night. I don't know how much rain we got out of that, but I know we got a little bit. But the winds are so stinking insane that it pulled the freaking cover off the little farm all exposing the engine to all the rain so the engine will probably start rusting now but i did finally get there today earlier today to clean it up um to, you know get any moisture that was on top of the engine because i checked it right after well i noticed it that that same day but i didn't get out to you know mid-afternoon or early afternoon whatever you want to call it um to start checking on stuff but i know i was like oh shit the cover's fucking off you know i was like oh, rain in the engine sure enough i looked over there the pistons are full of water most of them anyway and then there's water spots on top of the freaking block so i was like ah oh, great but i didn't do anything with it right away i just covered it back up and said you know screw it i don't have time for it so because we were uh getting the barn cleaned out getting some fencing done um putting that new door or the window cover on for the barn I finally got that hung the other day so i guess it's, it's coming along uh, i'm pretty much i'm getting caught up finally i still haven't changed the oils and everything i gotta get that freaking done uh the john deere for sure i don't know about big red because I mean, big reds do but i i just don't know the way he's being such a being kind of a biatch but i guess whatever he kind of still needs it anyway but because he's like he's all he's pretty close to hitting 700 miles which is kind of surprising because i didn't drive him all that much this winter but i guess i'm making up for it because i've been pushing him pretty hard here the last couple of weeks just trying to get things done so i've been putting on a lot putting on a lot of miles so i'm up to about that six seven hundred mile range which is usually when i'm at every year regardless of what i do but 
I don't know. It'll get done sometime here in July. It needs to get done. Uh, yeah, and for the John Deere, I noticed something different too about him. Um, I don't know if it's a problem or if it's always been like this and I just never noticed or I don't know, but I always, like when I'm going to shut off the, the mower deck, I always bring the tractor down to an idle and then I'll shut it off. Okay, well, it spins freely. You know, it takes its time slowing down at an idle but if you let's say you have it revved up and you're doing you just want to shut it off or whatever it comes to such a hard stop i don't know why it's just like when at an idle it'll go real slow to stop if you're at maximum speed and you're going really fast and all of a sudden it just locks up so it's like well what the hell's up with that and sometimes it's so bad that you know i think it's the belt that kind of squeals a little bit i know that the two uh driver side pulleys they seem to be a little warmer than the rest i don't know why usually that's a sign that they're getting wore out if they get hotter than the rest but it's kind of hard to really gauge the bearings or anything or the the pulleys because there's a couple of them have covers on them you have to remove the covers while mowing you know just to even check anything which i need to take those stupid covers off anyway because most of the screws are missing I want to be able to clean under there. Can't do it with those damn covers on, but I like having the covers on too for safety. But I don't know. I've got to take them off, I guess, for one season. And just run them without them and check bearing temperatures. But I got to get one of those temperature gun things too. But it just seems like those side two bearings or pulleys, they're a little warmer than the rest. So it's either a sign that they're. Uh, getting wore out or they're low on grease but i don't know i grease everything up pretty good in spring but i don't know maybe it's not enough for the year or maybe it needs to be re-greased again i don't know i want to grease them once a year but usually i like to pack a whole of grease so i don't know but but as long as you do it at an idle you shut the, the blade off or the blades off at an idle it, it shuts down perfectly fine so i don't know it's just i don't know I, like I said, I always shut them off at an idle anyway, unless there's some kind of an emergency reason. I got to shut them down right away, but um, <clears throat> I don't know. So probably wouldn't hurt to sh shoot some more grease in them outer pulleys, at least on the driver's side or those two. And they're not squeaking or anything. They don't seem loose. So I don't know. It's just it's just some kind of weird thing. I guess it's doing. I don't know, but. Maybe it's always been like that. I don't know. I've always shut my blades off at an idle. So I don't know what it was ever like to shut them off at high speed. Unless either it, it, the one time they get shut off at a high speed is either when I need to stop real quick or I hit a log or something, you know, and it jams it up. So, but other than that, I don't really know. I've always done it at an idle, so I don't know yeah so yeah i don't know and then that kind of get back on the little farm all there like i said i cleaned all that up and then i re-soaked to the cylinders and used the engine oil um not much though just a tiny bit i just kind of want them to sit in oil so that way they don't one i guess maybe it doesn't collect moisture the moisture should just sit right on top of the oil uh and two maybe it'll it'll keep the you know the o-rings on the pistons going i mean the engine's not seized or anything but i like to keep them lubed they've been sitting for about a month dry so um you know i like to keep them lubed so i just throw a little bit of used oil on them i'm going to do an oil change anyway when it comes time to change the oil but uh and then on that broken stud well i kind of redid uh I kind of looked it over again. I'm still going to get some left-handed drill bits and a different type of tool to remove it. I don't trust those those four-point uh, stud remover or bolt removers that I have now. I just I can't trust it. So um, that's been soaking. Also been soaking in a mixture of used oil and WD-40. Well, actually PB Blaster. Um, for quite a while I'm, i don't think it's going down but i just figured you know i got nothing to lose by doing that um 
but I wasn't sure on how deep it the that stud that broken off stud went down into the block and I was like well I finally remembered that hey I pulled one out one came out on its own because the nut was seized on it so I was able to just back the whole freaking stud out and I found that stud I know it's only got maybe half inch um the threads only go on it like half like half inch or whatever it's not very much so so what i did is i because i because I, I was heating up the block too like i'm preheating it you know just to kind of see what it'll do anything I'm not saying i'm trying to remove it now but i'm just you know i guess just helping it see if it, maybe it would break it free a little bit but they only like i said it only goes in a little bit under once you go through you know once you start threading it in it only goes that far so i know how much to heat now of the block uh you know to heat up that stud to get it out so i don't have to heat the whole entire block i could just heat like a little half inch section of it and i guess just heat it until something blows or <laughs> or until whatever so but i'm still just a little bit nervous but i gotta get it done uh, probably, I think next month I'll probably order some stuff. I gotta get some other things done. So, order some left-handed drill bits, and then order uh, uh, those better stud removers. All right, I gotta get out of here. I'm done. So, yeah, if I could order uh, some better equipment, well. I probably feel a little better doing it, but I'm still not crazy about doing it. But what are you going to do? My grandma thinks that it's not even worth it, but uh, we'd be okay if, if, you know, like I said, if that stud comes out without a fight, uh, you know, then it's it's all uphill from there, you know, it, it, it's, you know, it'll, all you'd have to do then is just order the gasket kits, put it all together, I gotta clean the head off, it has got grass on it, and then I uh, torque that son bitch down and uh, just slowly put everything back together, I don't know if it'll be running by fall, but, I guess if it, uh, it's put together, I guess, enough for the winter, I guess, whatever. And I guess if we have a pretty warm winter like we did that one year, maybe I'll come out once in a while and put a bolt in or something, you know, just to kind of get, you know, get ahead a little bit. But I hope it doesn't fight. I just, that's what I'm worried about, you know. Cause you have to drill a hole in it, you know, in order to uh, get it, you know, to put your tool in. I know one guy said just to weld a nut on there. Well, you can't do that because it's broke off below the, the, you know, the, the, the motor. So you would have a hard time welding something to it. Even then, can't guarantee it's gonna work. So, I'll have to just kind of try it the right way I guess and uh, try some stud removers yeah see over here the grass is doing a little bit better <coughs> not much but a little bit better so but you're still not going to get much for hay out of here it's just it's not going to happen I don't think we're even going to get above five bales to be honest with you if we get above five, I'll be shocked. But it's doing all right here in the corner where it's got lots of moisture and stuff, so. But. just have to wait and see I guess uh, order that stuff from Harvard Freight I believe you can buy 
Well, I know you can get the left-handed drill bits from Harvard Freight, but I don't remember if the other tools were there. I think they were. I forget how they were made, though. I don't know if they were made like a screw type, but, you know, in reverse. Or if it was just a tool that had threads on, and as you drive it in, it actually kind of pulled up and... I don't know. It's, I don't remember how it went, but imagine it's like a, a backwards screw. You know, like a left-handed drill bit. You know, it's le everything's left-handed, so... But I can't remember if those are the type that you actually have to that screw in with a drill or something, or if you have to pound them in like a hammer. See, now, now with the tools that I had, or the, the stud removers that I had, you had to pound them in a little ways to get good grip on anything. But even then, it wasn't enough. But I was trying to remove a broken bolt on the 1586, and while that's fucking seized as hell, you would have to drill that out. There's no uh, just getting it out. I guess I'll go in here and show you guys this and mowing this open again. Can't get very far, of course, but. I usually have a gate that goes across here, just haven't put it up yet this year. I just, I, I'm, water was killing it and putting me, you know, putting me behind schedule, so. Well, yeah, I got stuck right down there in the corner. I still gotta get in there yet, get to the junk pile, but I don't know, that looks like it's still a little tacky. Yeah, you, I used to be able to mow all this, but see, it's all still underwater. And see, even here, this is where I got stuck, because I guess it's too wet down in there. And I couldn't pull myself up back up the hill, so... But she'll dry out. And there's that log I gotta pick up and get rid of that. I guess at some point in life I'll do that, so... Got a fucking tree growing here. I need to cut him down too and get rid of him. Can't mow there, so <clears throat> multiple trees. But yeah, I just hope we can get that stud out without a problem. It's just it's kind of nerve-wracking. But we'll still have to fix that exhaust thing too at some point, but I just I don't know if they even make tool removers that big though. So, oh, we gotta get the engine put back together first, but I gotta get that broken stud out. So, just hope we can order the correct tools and uh, get her out. I did already center punched it. I already, I mean, I had one of those, so I already did that too. Put a little center punch hole mark in it. I already did that, so that'll be ready to go. Shouldn't have to carry too many tools with me then. <laughs> so, but anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. Just wanted to give you guys a little update to what's going on. Did some mowing. And, uh, yeah. I actually got the cover off the tractor right now. I was trying to let the sun dry it out a little bit, the engine block. I want to probably go back and cover it up. Probably shut my tractor windows too. I guess I got them open. Because it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow, but you never know when rain might come through in the middle of the night. So, <clears throat> but whatever. Grass is doing really good out here though. But she's done. She's ready to be cut, so. What are you going to do? So. Thanks, guys. I guess I'm going to take off. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.